Handyman Clearance here and we are back with another DIY home renovation. We are renovating our closet size laundry room. As you can see all that clutter and disorganization and we are going to clean that sucker up and polish it like new. In this video, we will be going over our step-by-step -step process on how we achieve this renovation. And at the end of the tutorial, we will also be going over our budget on what we spent and how we spent it because of course we love a budget-friendly DIY. So just Jumping straight into the tutorial, we're going to start off by cleaning out all of this clutter. Phillips, I mean the flathead. <laughs> Once we clean everything out, and I mean, we had to deep clean this area. There was so much lint behind the washer and dryer, so we had to like dust, wipe down, everything so i wanted to change out our light fixture as you saw before we had that outdated old light fixture and since we're putting up cabinets we need clearance for those doors to be able to open so we went with this very inexpensive flush light that didn't even require a joint box and then we're, I'm going to go into painting the room. So I went with a yellow. This color is called Pollen Powder by Sherwin Williams. Yes, by Sherwin Williams. This is a color that I had from a previous project in the house. So I didn't even have to spend money on this other than buying just some paint brushes, which was super awesome. So I saved like $30 right there on paint alone. So I only had to really paint the top half or the bottom half of the little closet pretty much, the little laundry room, because the cabinets are going to go up above. Starting the next morning, I am hitting it hard, installing my cabinets. I use a one by four piece of wood. I drill that into the wall and that pretty much helps me make sure my cabinets are leveled. And it also helps with taking off the weight of holding up the cabinets while I'm trying to get it screwed in to the walls. So I tried to do this by myself, but I ended up screwing up on that second cabinet because I could not find my freaking studs. So I was just screwing into just straight wall. So I had to call hubby in to help me out on that part. But other than that, everything else went pretty well. Hubby fin helps me finish installing the rest of my cabinets. So on the very left, we installed a 36 inch cabinet. In the very middle is a 24 inch cabinet. And then we did a 24 inch corner cabinet. We wanted extra space in that corner, especially since it's kind of just like dead wasted space because of the little block that's blocking the rest of the floor. So it did act extra storage and I'm very excited about that. Now we're gonna go straight into painting everything. This color is Pure White by Sherwin Williams. It is the same white that I used in our kitchen when we colored our kitchen cabinets. I'm also painting the baseboards or the door jam. As you can see, there were doors previously here, those bifold doors. We removed those because we just don't like doors in our house for some reason. I swear we've removed like every closet door in our house. So we just went ahead and removed it since we were renovating it and making it more clean and we now have these cabinets. We felt like we can have now have this open concept with the laundry room because it's not cluttered anymore. And I don't need the bifold folder, uh, bifold closet doors to hide our mess anymore. Everything is just nice and clean now. So painting the cabinet doors, I only did the front face of the cabinet doors because nobody's gonna see the inside of it. And as you can see, I didn't even paint the inside of the cabinet either. So all of this is pretty much cosmetic work. So I'm just installing our doors. I make sure that you keep up with which door goes where 
because these doors can be very finicky. A lot of times they're already fitted to one side of the cabinet. And as you can see, I'm kind of like switching back and forth, trying to make sure I have my cabinet door on the right side of the cabinet. And I usually do this by taking some uh, blue painters tape and just like marking like, hey, this is side A or side B, just to keep up. But I didn't because it was only four cabinets and I thought I would remember and I still didn't. So just FYI, heads up, make sure you mark your doors so that your doors go back exactly where they came from. Of course we can't finish off the cabinets without adding some cabinet hardware. So these knobs were purchased from a previous project, again, when we did the kitchen. And so they're left over, so I didn't even have to worry about buying hardware for the cabinets. And they're just some simple little door pulls and they're in the color bronze, rub bronze. And we're going in with the Craig mechanism. This is like the best tool I could have ever purchased when it comes to uh, cabinets as far as drilling new holes for doorknobs, making sure they're even, it's so quick and easy. Now, as I mentioned before, I wasn't able to do the crown molding because our ceiling kind of slopes a little bit. The ceiling is a lot lower than what it is in the rest of the house. So I just decided to go in with some vines. So I added a curtain rod across the top of the door jam. As you can see, we have hangers up there. That's what we'll be using to hang the girls' clothes when we take them out to dry. Now it is time for the big reveal so you can see everything that we have done. And we're gonna also jump into the budget. All right, so starting with the budget, cabinets came up to a total of $270. We bought the white paint for the cabinets. That was the only paint I did have to buy for $30. The curtain rod to hang our clothes was an additional $30. The flush light that we changed out was $30. Of course, we needed paint brushes, an extra $30. The decorum, that was the little baskets and the little laundry signs and stuff, those cute little stuff. I spent about $20 at Hobby Lobby. And then the vines came off of Amazon for only $10. It came in a pack of 12, I only used two. So that came up with a grand total of about $420. So under $500 for this complete makeover in our laundry room doesn't even look recognizable. So here is a short clip of the small baskets and the little letter that I bought for a little bit of decorum. And that is the end of our makeover. We are complete with everything and we spent under $500 for this complete transformation that we are absolutely in love with. Thank you for watching us on a, another DIY renovation. Please everyone be safe and be blessed and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.